Inventor has some built-in utilities that will allow us to reverse engineer from a point cloud. So let's take a look at what some of those are. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to Manage. I'm gonna tell it to attach a point cloud. I'll use that facility scan from before. Just kind of click anywhere until it's insert the origin, kind of like we normally would. I'm going to use the navigator here, though, to turn off everything except for the table. I want to see just the table. I want to try to reverse engineer that. So I'm going to zoom in here. So really, the, the two tools that we have to reverse engineer are cloud point and point cloud. So what I'm going to show here is cloud point, where you can kind of just pick a point out of the cloud and it will turn into a work point. Repeat that a couple times. Try to get ones from these edges here. And then I also have the ability to do a cloud plane where it essentially interpolates a plane from all the points and create a work plane. So realistically here, I could then create a sketch on that plane. I could draw a three point rectangle, try to trace one side as best I can. Draw a three point rectangle, kind of along this edge. And then I can try to hit this point or I could do a coincident constraint between this line and this point, this line and this point, this line and this point, this line and this point. So I can stop my sketch. And then I could potentially create another work point. That's the, that is equivalent to the bottom of the table. Or I could even get several of these and create a plane there through three points. So I can create a plane through three points. And tell my first extrude, my first sketch to extrude to my second plane. I can turn off some of these, the visibility of some of these work geometry. If I wanted to, I could repeat a similar process with the legs. So let me work with one of the legs here. I could also get a cloud plane from the floor. And I could create a sketch on that. Project these points into the sketch. And create a rectangle just like we did before.
get the right orientation here. And then I can extrude to the underside of the table. So there's the how you would use the tools to reverse engineer a design in Inventor.